Uh, hello, good morning. Day 11 on the Cape Raft Trail. We have literally just set off and we're on our way to Oiko Bridge, which is roughly seven kilometers. And then from there, we shall head towards um, Benmore Lodge and hopefully get a nice little camping pitch by the river. So that is the plan for day 11. Looking at the map last night, and uh, obviously our next stop is Oiko Bridge. But uh, yeah, I was just looking. I think bloody hell, there's still an awful lot of distance from Oiko Bridge to the Cape. It's almost a bit dispiriting. Physically, touch wood, I'm okay at the moment. Feet are fine. The joints are holding out. So body-wise, feeling good. I've not touched any ibuprofen for a good few days. But uh, I think mentally, I will have to dig deep at some point because I don't want to take the enjoyment out of this. This is like, this is my hobby, this is what I do, but doing it day in, day out, rather than just a, a weekend away, is uh, a different kettle of fish for me. Alrighty, we are uh, back in some civilization here. Michael Bridge Hotel must just be around that corner. Oh yes, here we go. The hotel have delivered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Fed and watered, we are ready to go again. We've got about 15 kilometers of track bashing before we reach uh, Benmore Lodge. Don't mind us, we're just passing. Oh, you're alright. This section isn't much to write home about, but at least you get some miles under the belt on this track. And it will get interesting again as we reach Inch in the Damp, going up round the side of Benmore Ascent and Conneville. Alrighty folks, that's uh, just over 15 kilometres on the clock, so we've doubled the distance since the hotel. We're now met the river Oiko, and the guidebook actually has us going off the track and picking up a higher track. It's going through felled woods and all that, so we like sod it, we're going to stick to the river track. One of our friends who done the Cape Wrath walk two years ago, he, uh, he recommended sticking by the river as well, so that is what we shall do. All right, mate. You caught much today? Aye, uh, a couple of salmon. A couple of salmon, aye. Uh, eh? size, mate. Oh, no bad. Did you just put them back in? Aye, uh, that's good of you. It's a nice rod you've got. <laughs> <laughs> just cast my hook in. <laughs> All right, so the track comes to an end, and now we're on to what looks like a riverside path, and Ian's found a bench for some lunch. Hey, folks. I think we now realise why the guidebooks get you on the upper track because when the fisherman's Land Rover track runs out this is what it turns into a boggy mess Dear me Yeah, I'll try this route it doesn't look any better than Ian's uh, This is a pain My feet are wet already but it's just still annoying. One of our hiking friends 
recommended this route and says the track is brilliant all the way. I think somebody is telling Porkies or their memory has let them down a little bit. Oh, they're playing a prank on us. Right too, we've reached the shores of Loch Elsh. There's Ben Moore or Conival in the cloud and rain. We did have a little shower pass through, but nothing major. So we're going to keep following around this loch here. Uh, getting a few kilometres on the clock and then start thinking about finding a pitch maybe. Alrighty folks, a little update. That's just done exactly 25 kilometres now. And uh, we're out in open hillside, we've passed that lock back there. We've had some lunch. There's a nice little camping spot here. We're considered it, but it's only four o'clock. We know we're not going to get attention to that for no chance, so we're going to push on maybe another kilometre or so and see if we find something a bit fuller up. So uh, I shall bring you back in a moment. Right, I think we found our pitch for the night. 26 and a half kilometers on the clock and we could push on a little bit further but this looked too good to sort of pass up Good morning campers, it is day 12 I think on the Cape Raft Trail. Alright, that's me out the tent for the first time in about 12 hours. Once those tent slippers go on, I'm not getting back out. God bless a pee bottle. <laughs> um, right, we're just getting packed up at the moment. Uh, we've not got too far to go to Inch and Damp, it's about 12 kilometres and uh, we're going to push on from there as well. Working out on the Harvey's map last night, it's got a little chart at the side and we've worked out we've got 90, 90 kilometres to the lighthouse, which is really good, but at the same time it's like, oh, another 90 to go. But it's down to double figures and that averages 22 and a half kilometres a day, so that's really doable. Of course there's a lot of rough terrain so if it takes an extra day so be it. I'll have a proper look at that and uh, when I get him gets it out on the lawn. You've had a good sheep camps out of the way. I have, aye, well that's it, I mean. Oh. Well right, it's just gone seven o'clock and we are off and it is not warm, I can tell you that much. Oh it's fat, it's bloody cold. The worst thing about this is uh, Putting on cold shoes and cold wet socks in the morning is not fun. You do warm up though. It does take a kilometre or two. And then you're having to dodge bog the now. Oh, there we go. Uh, lovely. I've had to switch back to the little action camera as we're getting a shower passing through. And there's some sleet in that. I don't know if you can see. But there's just a slight fresh dusting of snow Oh and I think that's Conival there Right to Ian's taking us on another magical mystery tour <laughs> <laughs> The path normally goes around there Into the quarry and before you go to the quarry You then start contouring around this Instead We're heading down here And then up Probably six and half a dozen but hey ho We'll give it a shot Oh, and you're in. <laughs> I'm not sure that saved any tax or not. I would maybe just stick to the normal route. Not a winner like that Noidart shortcut anyway. It's hard to say. Whew. 
this is a, a rather nice pass. We've got Conneval looming large up there, and then we've got the Corbett beyond there. I think it's Braybag or Braybag or something like that. If we just pushed on six and a half kilometres last night, we'd have had this little fantastic wild camping spot here. Got your own little river, and you've got the architecture as you input of the crags at either side of us. In between Conneval and Breabag. Yeah, Breabag, that's the one. I said Breabag. I'll just show you though. Just where Ian is. You got a couple of tents in there, no bother. In fact, there's even a pitch just there. Over there. Over, over there as well, yeah. So, if you're too tired for inching the damp, but you could push on to here. Is there a wee snow tunnel there? I don't know how deep it is. If you're desperate for a shower, Nature's Myra power shower. Stuck on cold, unfortunately. That's a Myra sport. A Myra sport. <laughs> Get under it, Ian. I'm a fuck. Just for two seconds, just for the video. No. All right, so we've got good views now of the Koyak and Ascent Hills over there. You've got Kilmore. I can just see Stack Polly popping through. Um, Benmore Koyak. This one in front of us is Canisp. And we've got Loch Ascent here. And some incoming weather coming our way now. Alrighty troops, just a little update. Uh, just an over nine kilometres and we're now on the Munro Baggers path from Inch to Danf to uh, Benmore Ascent and Conneville. It's not the greatest path by the way. That there's the Inch to Danf Independent Hostel. I recommend that place, it's cracking. Then you've got the hotel just down the road a little bit. Wise. Do you know how tempting it is just to jump in the car and head home? <laughs> cool. I'll get myself sorted. Okay, that's us restocked. We've got enough food to get us up to the Cape. So that's pretty much nearly five days worth. So the pack is feeling considerably heavier again. Similar to the first day. And annoyingly, we're having to come back up the track, we came down. You don't have to stop at Inch the Damp if you don't need anything. Uh, there's no shops here, just accommodation really. Right, so you can see that wee rickety bridge there. If you see that, it's time to get off the track. And here is a mountain path here, which is going to take us in the middle of nowhere. We're going to gain 600 metres, so that's going to be tough going. Mind the rough bounds of Noida. This is the rough bounds of Ascent, and I think our rate of passage must be coming up here. And we've got a steep drop down over behind that. Alrighty, I was telling Porkies that isn't our rate of passage. Instead, just around this corner, you'll see that there in that groove is our right of passage so we've got a bit to go yet there is a path down there but do ignore that
Gentlemen, definitely one of these four seasons in one day type of days. Very typical Scotland. Righty, oh well, look at this. Don't know if the camera will do it justice because of the light, but that is looking pretty rugged in there. Oh, dearie me. That was brutal. The two of us were talking too much and uh, we took the top path where we should have actually came off and came down towards where we are now. And I'll just show you. I believe the route comes down here, but we overshot the mark and we've had to sort of pick our way down through the heller. Really slow progress down here. But anyway, I believe we cross this and we start heading down that away. This wee camera is not even going to do that justice, but check that out. I think this is the largest waterfall in Britain. I'll need to double check that when I get home. That's impressive. We've got a bloody cheek putting gates in. Gates? What about a path? Honestly, what's that all about? I am getting severely fed up. There is water and bog everywhere. And I've got another three days of this shit. Oh, just scared off a heron. I took my mind off it for like two seconds. Oh, this is brutal. It's going on and on. Oh, folks, I'm not enjoying this now. It's just going on and on. I think this has been my toughest day today on the Cape Raft here. And uh, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I wish I grabbed that lift earlier. Oh. I'm nearly at Glen Kuehl though, so what I'm going to do is just uh, wrap up the video for today. And I'll bring you back in the morning. In the meantime, I shall put up the stats right about now. <laughs>